Thank you very much. I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> love you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you for inviting me to speak on this momentous occasion. I'm going to cut to the chase because I know you mean business and that's why I respect you. Twelve and a half years ago, I was high on crack cocaine. I wound up as a slave to the substance. Myself, my wife, and my six kids, we lost everything we had. Our house, our car, our pride. I reached a point to where I either wanted to get off of crack cocaine or I wanted to die. And it didn't matter which one would come first. I checked myself into a rehab program, graduated within a year, and I have been clean now for 12 and a half years. After rehab, I knew that many of the individuals I saw on the streets were still there. So I decided to do everything in my power to stop more from joining them. In order to do something effective, there has to be drug prevention education. I walked the dark road of addiction, and no one should have to suffer that way. We have to educate our youth long before that day comes. If someone had told me about marijuana and crack cocaine, I could have made an informed decision. I just didn't know. Sounds familiar? That's because it's the truth about drugs. Which is just one good reason why we need you. Can I get an amen? amen. After forming the International Faith-Based Coalition to address drugs and drug addiction, it wasn't until I was introduced to the truth about drugs four years ago that I could really, really get busy. I've always said, so goes California, so goes the nation. Religions. 
I have brought this material to the Protestants, to the Jews, to the Buddhists, the Sikhs, the Christians, you name it, and I have never heard no. Are you kidding me? Thank you for making this ideal or come true here today. Woo! 